Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use the number and dates in SAP Lumira and how we can format them as per our requirement. So, sometimes we have to do the formatting of the numbers and the dates which are coming from my data source as per the requirement of business. So, in this tutorial, we will see what are the different formatting options we have in SAP Lumira. Let's go to the tool here. So, in the prepare room, I have the data which is coming from my Excel data source. So, now let's see how I can show the formatting of a particular column in my data source. If I go here and if I go to the display formatting, in the display formatting, I have the option of select a value format. So here I can either have it as a number or I can show it as a percentage. After that, choose the display format. So whether I want to use the scientific number format, whether I want to use the thousand separator or I don't want to use anything. So I can choose it as none. Then we have to, uh, we have to specify the number of decimals we want to show. So, the display negative values, the, uh, whether we want to display the negative values in brackets or not. After that, if I want to select a custom symbol, like sometimes if there is a dollar value or the euro value or any other particular currency. So, the business requirement is that I have to do a prefix or a suffix of the currency sign with the value. So, you can use this, uh, select a custom symbol, prefix or suffix using the formatting options in SAP Lumira. So let's say if I want to do a prefix, I can simply write down the symbol here which I want to prefix. Similarly, I can do the suffix as well and once I will click on OK, it will show me the number with that particular suffix. So let's say if I go here and if I go to the list price retail USD. Now if I go to the display format of it and I want to show this with the prefix dollar. I will go here and click on OK. Now I can see that all my list price retail USD values they are coming with the dollar sign. Similarly if I want to suffix any symbol I can do that as well. So this way we can do the formatting of the numbers and also the dates in my data set. So I can choose the date and I can write down the custom format of it or I can choose from the uh, format specified by SAP Lumira to us. So this is how you can do the formatting of the numbers and formatting of the dates in SAP Lumira. So in case of the prefix or the suffix maximum number of characters is 256. So whenever we are doing the prefix or the suffix so the maximum number is 256 which we can use. So in this tutorial we have seen how we can do the formatting of the numbers and the dates in SAP Lumira. Thank you.